this is Julie Presley, counselor, and I am going to go through a video here to show you how to put in your requests and alternates for the school year 2021-2022. Um, putting this together, because obviously the way this crazy year is gone, we're not sure if we're ever going to see each other again, but we still need to be thinking about the future and all of that jazz. So obviously you won't be able to ask questions as you're going through this, but hopefully you'll be able to push pause and follow along and do this on your own at the future time when you're ready to put in the information. Go ahead and you'll go into your um, student access through Skyward and enter in your username and password. You, of course, have all of your messages and all that good fun stuff, but we're going to come down over here to schedule. It'll show you your current schedule as it is now, but we are going to look at four requests for next year. So make sure you're clicking on your name there and that'll open up this screen. Now what you'll see in this screen on the left hand side are all the classes that are available. On the right hand side are the ones that have been added either by you or for you. Um, right now, to be honest with you, these are the ones that have been added for you when you've gone in there. So you'll probably have an English class listed there, probably have a math class listed there, um, things of that nature. You can then pick certain classes and add them to this list. I would say uh, let's go based upon the, that we're going to go back to our normal schedule previous um, prior to COVID and all that fun stuff. And let's say we're going to get up to 15 classes. You can actually request more than 15, but I don't suggest that you do that. Um, don't put any more than 18 in there. Um, but just keep that in mind that we are probably going to shoot for 15 because if you put in 18, three of them are going to be picked to be pulled out. So anyway, so you can go through here, you can do a search based on the title of a, of a class, or you can go based upon um, the department. Like here we start with agriculture and then we move on to business and we move on to family and consumer science, English. So you can have all of those things in there. So let's say you want to do speech. So we know speech is going to be in English and here we go, advanced speech and communication. It's an Ivy Tech course. That's what ITT, I'm sorry, ITCC means, Ivy Tech Community College. So anything that has Ivy Tech credits, all you have to do is click on that and add course. And you can see in this case, these classes are actually linked together. They have to be taken together. So they both get added and notice that that went up to 17. Now, I've been playing around a little bit and added a few classes in. Um, so you can see, okay, you know what? I don't want to do introduction to business. Maybe she's decided she's clicking on that. She can click to remove that course. And you can see that it removed it, but you can take intro to business one or two. You don't have to take them concurrently. So that's why those didn't both leave the list. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this one off to remove the course. Just to reassure you that you can't screw something up. So let's say, um, she decided that she uh, wanted to do or was going to take out anatomy and physiology. She didn't want to do that anymore. But she hasn't added that in. Her counselor has put that in for her. Or, you know, it was set up for her by somebody here at the school. So if she clicks on remove that course, you will see down here that students, whoops, don't have access to remove course requests scheduled by the school. So if it's a required class that your counselor has put in for you, you will not be able to delete it. If it's something that you sincerely don't want to take, let's say that your counselor predicted you wanted to take chemistry and you actually want to take physics instead, um, you would have to message your counselor saying that I want to take this class instead of the other one and they can make that change for you. So that's what you will do to schedule in the classes that you wish to take. Again, make 15 or 18 your total. Again, 15 is going to be a minimum. If not, then your counsel will fill it in for you. But then say that there are some other classes that you're interested in taking in case the classes you've requested don't work out. You'll need to then select this request alternates. 
What you'll notice is that the screens look very similar. The only thing really that changed here, it says selected alternate courses, but it also gives you a different column here on the right hand side. The available courses are still the same, but over here it changes. The R means that it is a request and you're gonna have a maximum of eight alternate courses that you can assign. When you start picking them, they will let you rank from number one to eight, which would be the most important alternate that you want. So let's say you wanted to do animal science. You add the course. And then you're gonna add the other one. And you can see how the numbers here are showing up one and two. So let's just go and say, you know what? Yeah, I do want to do the intro to business maybe as an alternate. So I'm going to put that in. And as you notice, it goes all the way back to the top each time. So if you know that there's something that you want to be in, you need to make sure that you have it included. So let's say here, she wants to do sports and entertainment marketing. And notice once it gets added over here, it does not come off this list. So let's say she's only going to pick these six and then she's looking through. She goes, no, you know, I really want to do um, intro to business first. You can use these arrows then to prioritize. Say, OK, I want to move that up to the top. You can use those arrows to do that. You can move things up or down the list. Whoops. And that will set your priorities. Now, again, the alternates are going to be the ones that have Arabic numerals here. And then the R's are the actual requests. So the requests are going to be what hopefully fits into your schedule first. Hopefully you don't have any questions, um, but if you do, feel free to reach out to your counselor and you'll have until a specific time, which um, will be clarified for you by each class in which to get everything entered in of your requests and your alternates. And that will be prior to spring break. I can guarantee you that because we have to turn in numbers and things to determine how things get set up for next year's schedule before spring break. So once you go through this video, sit down and play around with it a little bit, get questions answered. Please don't wait until the last minute, um, especially because we may not have a chance to get um, more direct communication. Um, if you have some other questions, your counselor can supply your transcript for you. But again, the required classes that you have to have will probably already be entered in there for you. And these are just what you would want to take above and beyond those. If there's special circumstances, let's say currently this year you are a sophomore and you are thinking that you would like to graduate at the end of your junior year, you need to let your counselor know that now because there'll be other required classes that you'll need to get in. Or let's say you are a freshman and you believe that in your junior or senior year, you might want to do one of the Hoosier Hills programs, whether it be for um, health services, whether it be for child care, whether it be for nursing, whether it be for auto body repair, welding, things of that nature down um, in uh, at Hoosier Hills. We need to know that so that we can get other required classes in for you as a sophomore. Um, so that you can be eligible to be able to attend those programs um, full time um, because you're out of the building and transportation and all those things become an issue too. If you are a junior and you're wanting to complete your senior year, um, either at the end of first trimester or second trimester, that information also needs to be communicated to your counselor um, so that we don't schedule you for a full year and we'll have fewer of those requests required. I hope this all made some sense and then you'll be able to go in and do any of those edits as necessary. Have a great day.